The following program is rated E. Today on City Line, breaking the cycle of credit card debt. Mostly we're like a la 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 la. <laughs> the plan you need to stay on track this season. Do you write all those things down, total it up? Yes. You're gonna hate the number. Then we've got the top toys this holiday season. Why weren't these around when I was a kid? And later, we're discussing our most memorable gifts. And on Christmas morning, i I was presented with this. <laughs> <laughs> It's City Life with Tracy Moore. Wellness Wednesday. Today we are talking top toys. We're going to talk fun facials and flavorful foods. But first, let's break the cycle of credit card debt with the one, the only, Bruce Celery. <laughs> I love how you said that. Right? Come the on, one, Tracy. The there, only. There are many <laughs> Bruce Celery's out there. We just haven't met them yet. Yes, but you're you're ours. I'm a dime a dozen. So you really. no, you are the special Bruce Celery. Oh, I love that. Also known as the Money Man. Am I, I right? Heard that. Yeah, the Money I Man. Heard that. Yes, that's your new name around here. Love it. So let's get into it. I mean, it's a conversation that we need to have because we want to know when we get to January, yeah. we're going to be okay because yeah. we were responsible. So why is managing our credit card debt during the holiday season so much harder? Like, why is it so tough? <sighs> Two things, yeah. temptation and guilt. And so guilt. the temptation, think about the holidays of all there is to eat and all there is to drink. It's like, nah, 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 mm. nah, it's just all there. Mm -hmm. It's the same with spending. There are so many opportunities to overspend. Yeah. You walk into the mall, you've done the, the list, you're carrying nothing in your hands, and it's like a TikTok transformation. <laughs> Boom! And all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, I have so much stuff. <laughs> and $2,000 in credit card debt. <laughs> immediately. It just all of a sudden immediately happens. So that's yeah. temptation. The guilt, mm -hmm. if they call it the most wonderful time of the year, I think it is the most guiltiest time of the year. Yeah. Because your kids deserve a big Christmas. Your mom, you give her the thing and she opens the thing and her facial expression is so, so full of love for you. Right. So that's the guilt part. Now, it could be a little different this year because BMO has published some survey results that say 78% of Canadians are gonna spend less on holiday spending yeah. this year. We're struggling. There's yeah. a lot of people struggling, and yeah. I think that there might be something good to come out of racking it back a little bit. 100%. Like, let's be smart and, like, go buy the broccoli. Yeah. Right? Maybe yeah. it's not all the toys. So um, what do we do about it? What can we do? Like, how do we deal with yeah. it? How do we rein ourselves Start with in? the most important question, yeah. which is why. Why do okay. I want to reduce my credit card spending this year? Yeah. And for some people, the honest answer, like, they really wanting to answer this question <laughs> honestly, and they're like, I should want this. My husband wants this. Uh -huh. I would sleep better at night, but I don't want to. <laughs> I really don't want to change anything. Yeah. And if that's the case, don't. Okay. Because nothing I can say, no matter how charismatic and handsome I am, <laughs> and I'm very charismatic and, and very, very, handsome. very, very handsome, yes. will make, thank you. <laughs> but it's going to make absolutely no difference. Make no difference at all. So you're just going to let people off the hook? Like, no. Come on. Hard no. No, okay. I'm going to ask them a supplementary question. Okay. And that is, what are the consequences of your current behavior? Right. Because mostly we're like, la, 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 la. <laughs> it's not happening. It's happening to someone else. It's not happening to me. <laughs> they really look at it. They'd say, my credit score is crap. Yeah. My marriage is in trouble. Right. I can't speak at night. And yes. if you just take a minute to like take all that in, and then I ask you the question again, why do you want to limit your credit card spending? <sighs> Peace of mind. I want peace, peace of, of mind. mind. That's what I want. So that's the answer. Yeah. And if it isn't crystal clear to you that why, nothing, as I say, nothing is going to work. And that is like, that applies to everything in life. It really does. Why do you want to lose the weight? Yeah. Why do you want to be nicer to yeah. your neighbor? Why yeah. do you want, like, yeah. there needs to be a why, right? 100%. Okay, so we get the why. Yeah. We pinpoint the why. Now what do we do? We write it all down. 
Okay. We write the budget. So okay. this is the list of gifts, of meals, of mm -hmm. decorations, of entertainment, of travel. It's all the things. And really think about what is involved in this period. It's a couple of months, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of things, some things you wouldn't think of, like you're driving to see family. That could be a couple of hundred dollars in gas yep. that you wouldn't spend in another month. Parents of children forget maybe that they've got multiple children who have multiple teachers, and yes. there's an expectation that you're going to be contributing to a gift card. So you write all those things down, total it up, total it up. Yes. You're going to hate the number, but yeah. total it up and look at that number. Yeah, and don't be conservative. Like, give yourself, give, have a lot yeah. of wiggle room in that budget. I yeah. forget the teachers every single year. Uh -huh. It's like, oh, yeah. the coaches, the daycare workers, like all, all the of things. the people, all of the people you got to include on that list. Okay, so uh, what do we do now to fund it? Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> so you've got this total, How do we and you're pay like, for and where it? does this money come from from yes. the sky? No. So some people have been saving for it, but very few. Okay. Many people are putting it on a credit card. Yeah. And so you need to think about January and February and think, what am I going to do to change my behavior in January or February to pay that off? So mm -hmm. I am going to eliminate dining out. I'm eliminating takeout. I'm not going to get my hair done for mm -hmm. three months. Some people, the audience, oh my gosh, collective bite your, bite gasp, like, what? There's got to yes. be something else I There's can cut. Surely. I, but <laughs> you need to think about, okay, if you're not going to pay it off in full by January 1st, yeah. don't let it be June. Because all okay. of a sudden you're looking at that outstanding balance and uh, you're really not happy with it because it is extended for months and months and months. And every single month that that outstanding balance exists, you are paying interest on it. And that interest is killer. It's very high interest it's very for high. credit cards It's very as well. high. Okay, any tips on how we can stick to our budget? Yeah, so uh, first is... <laughs> pay cash, which I know I say all the time, mm -hmm. but it is excruciating to peel money off and spend <laughs> it in a store. There is, is nothing worth, worse than that. It's it excruciating. The other thing is when it comes to online payments, this is where the mischief is. I got to tell you, this is where the mischief is because we've set up our computer to remember all of our credit card details, mm -hmm. right? So uh, don't do that. And it's not to say that you can move to cash on everything because I happen to live in current times. It's not the medieval <laughs> era, right? Where you're like paying the baker with two shekels. That's not the way that it is. We use credit cards, right. but they anesthetize the pain. And what we want to do is connect the action to the consequence. So here's an example, you know, uh, you're curling your hair, you accidentally burn your scalp with the curling iron, and you mm -hmm. feel it immediately. You squeal, there's some sort of thing yeah. that alerts you to the fact that you have done this. Yeah. Imagine if your body didn't tell you. Tracy, you would show up to do City Line looking like a burn victim. Like you'd have like <laughs> curling iron scars all over yourself yeah. because you didn't know that there were consequences to, to your behavior. And credit cards really do anesthetize the pain. So he's saying we need to hurt hurt. We need we to do. feel the pain. We and when you take those 20s out of your wallet, it does hurt. It really does hurt. So try and put, a, like, give yeah. yourself a chunk of cash yeah. and use cash, which is so hard to do. 100%. Um, so when you're shopping online, you say, make sure that it forgets you every single time. Every time. The other thing I would throw in there is I have so many things linked up to my credit card now. Yeah. My Apple Pay, my Uber, my Uber Eats, my yeah. Amazon. I am trying to connect those to my PayPal, which goes to my, at least my checking Smart. account. Smart. So at least I, I'm not feeling the pain immediately, but I yeah. am at least using money that I actually yeah. have. And so remember, we're going to yeah. answer the why, and then everyone is going to write their budget down. And yeah. Tracy, I'm going to give you a pen and a oh. piece of paper. Oh, so, no. Okay. We're starting now? Yeah, we're starting right now. So we're just going to, I'll do the throw to the commercial. Okay. If the studio audience is patient, we're all super patient. I actually brought a snack. Oh. So while you do this, I'm just oh. going to have Okay. I'm just going to put everybody. some takeout. We're going to away and take out food and all yeah, that stuff. That's you got to do money. this now. Okay. More City Line coming up after the break. Right? A lot of money yeah, there. Yeah, a lot of money. It's going to be... Yeah. Coming up, we're revealing the top toys this holiday season. Want to do the reveal for yeah. me? Okay, perfect. And so for the, the young fashionista... <laughs> Everyone, 
I came into the studio and got very excited because I saw presents. So finding the perfect <laughs> holiday gift for kids can be a little tricky. So with her top five toy picks for the holidays to spark creativity and imagination is the one Leanna Lair Perot who has all the imagination <laughs> and all the creativity. <laughs> So I'm very excited for what's in the box. Honestly, if you like wrap a box like this for me, you, there can be a peanut inside. <laughs> well, good, because that's what I brought you today. <laughs> I'm going to be so excited. No. Uh, but you had some fun. I did. I did a little bit better than a peanut, maybe a lot of it better. <laughs> and I went out a little, on a little shopping adventure to Walmart because Walmart okay. has the Walmart toy, toy shop this season. Okay. And they have some of the most affordable and best top toys available right now. And affordability, like you know I love a good deal. Yes. Everything is on rollback this season, online and in store. So nice. shop early and stock up. And these are five of my favorites, but they literally have everything. There's like Pokemon, Paw Patrol, Lego, Barbie, oh, Teenage okay. Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like uh, there's too many to list. Yeah. They have so many. But I, as you mentioned, was specifically focused on toys that sparked creativity, mm -hmm. as you said, imagination, and these are my top five. But while I was shopping, I had three very distinctive realizations. I kind of went through a process okay. while I was shopping at Walmart. A few epiphanies. Number one, why weren't these around when I was a kid? I know. Like, these are all toys that so I would good. have loved as a kid. Uh -huh. But then I went to number two, and the realization was, Am I too old to buy them for myself? <laughs> They're like, here they now. They say like three plus, and I fit into the plus category of the age. So why can I not buy these for myself now? Because as I was prepping for the segment, I got to play with them, and they are yes. so much fun. And then realization number three was while I was playing, I realized that every single one of the toys that I picked actually fits a city line category that we cover here on the show. Oh. Something for the fashionista for Fashion Fridays. Yes. We've got something for the home day lover. So really, okay. I've decided that my whole segment today is just to inspire budding city line experts. Oh, that's so good. To instill some creativity into the littles out there. Because yes. I remember being a little kid lying on shag carpet yes. like this, watching city line with my grandma. Aww. And look at me now. And look right? at her now. Look at her now. So okay, the next possible. generation of City Line yes. experts, we are raising them up with pick number, number one. one. Okay, this one is for the young fashionista. Do you want to do the reveal for yeah. me? Okay, perfect. Ready? Let's lift this up, go for it. And so for the, the young action. fashionista. <laughs> so for the young fashionista, I've picked out the pop style bracelet maker. Oh now, a few gosh. things that I love about this. It's crafty, it's got the little DIY element that obviously I really love about it. Yeah. It's fashion, but it's also very swifty as a gift, okay. right? Okay, all right, all for the, the T Swift fans who like doing the bracelets, yes. the friendship bracelets, this basically will do that for you. So it's very easy to put together, and this becomes a little storage for all of your beads. And once you have everything beaded, Tracy, I'm gonna let you do the honors. I want you to pop the pop style. Oh! And there's oh. your little, whoops, there's your little bracelet right there. Oh, that is so amazing. So very fun and easy to do. And I love it too because it becomes kind of this really cool gift that the gift keeps giving. Yes. Because your friends are going to make them for their, for their friends and hand them out Beautiful. to everybody. Yes. Listen, I think that this is a really smart idea because for the Swifties out there, you've got to have one for every album. Every album, all, all the, the Taylor eras. Swift albums. Yes. Like my daughter has gone through it with me like in excruciating detail. Absolutely. One for every album. <laughs> okay, okay, next up. The next one is for the future home designer. We and have... I have picked, here we go. It's Lego! Lego Friends, but this one I think is really special. This okay. is Aaliyah's room. Okay. And quite literally, this is a great toy for a child who's really interested in spatial design. I know my oldest son wanted to redecorate his room when he was six. Yes. This would have been perfect because we weren't going to move <laughs> doors, which is what he wanted to do. Yeah. But instead, <laughs> he, could, he could have created this little space here. And I also love that not only is there furniture in here, little accessories that you can move around, but it's very interactive and moving. So there's a little trundle bed, there's a little drawer that opens up as well, and there's you can stash little treasures in there, like the test with an F on there that we, we keep oh, we hidden from put the that parents. Away, put that away. Yes. Look and at the book Aaliyah's reading. So like, there's that is Aaliyah. Yes, is it the Bible? <laughs> 
that. Well, you've got Aaliyah and you've got oh Paisley. Gosh. And I love that Aaliyah's room comes with a friend, Paisley, because then it's interactive play. Yeah. If your little has a friend over, then they can really creative and imaginatively play together. Do you want to read also the Bible? It looks a little too big for me, but thanks, Aaliyah. <laughs> I'm on page 125. <laughs> She's you are very the you smart. are the, you're the bookworm. She's so that, very smart. It's so you. Oh gosh, this, are we are going to play with this too much. There's more in the segment. Sorry. Okay, okay, next up. This one I have to say might be one of my favorites. I shouldn't pick a favorite, but I really love this one. Okay. This is for the mindful mini. Okay. And this is the VTech Story Time Ooh. with Sunny. Now I'm going to turn Sunny on here because Sunny is very interactive. My day just got a whole lot brighter seeing you. Is it Sunny? So so cute. And Sunny moves around, comes with Please four discs. Thanks. I have to tell you. If you're happy with what you chose, press the play button. Okay, we can hit okay. play. So Practice four discs, matters. and all of the discs have over 300 activities and games. Please. There's fun songs, there's jokes, but here's what I love. This disc that's on here in particular okay. is called The Great Day. It has mindful meditations. It teaches children how to daydream. Oh. It helps with routines. So there's a disc that will help kids encourage them to get ready for bed and brush their teeth. So it's so interactive. I love that. And also doubles as a cute nightlight as well, where you can set an alarm to help them wake up happy in the morning with oh Sunny. Oh my gosh. It's adorable. I wish I had that growing right? up. Right, very Rather than the <laughs> <laughs> Like, I would like that for an alarm. Wait, and this is why I said, I'm not too old and you're not too old to own a Sunny. I, I want, want a Sunny in my life to do my daily affirmations. Yes. Okay, for the budding baker, this is calling the three chefs. This is the kitty gift for them. This is the Kinetic Sand Rainbow Cake Shop. Ooh. Flipping adorable and incredibly well priced as well. Comes in under $20. Now, have you played with Kinetic Sand before? I have, and it is so addictive. Oh, it relaxing, feels good. So relaxing, very yeah. therapeutic. So this is like a great relaxation activity for the parents along with their children. Absolutely. But what I, what I really love is it comes with all of these molds to make a little stacked cake, which you can see that I made. Also comes with 10 kitchen accessories, air uh -huh. quote. But I have to tell you my favorite thing. Give a little sniff. Vanilla. Oh. It's vanilla scented. Don't eat it. Which but... I love. No, please oh. don't eat. But you can sniff. And it's not sticky and never dries out, which is also amazing. So this, can I also say just one more thing? Yeah. The box becomes a little sandbox. Oh, See my smart. little cake shop. So smart. I love Very smart packaging. Smart. I love so it. Cute, Very right? good. Okay. Still trying to eat a piece Last of this cake. Least, Last well, but not least, while you're still digging into my cake yes. over there. So this one is for the aspiring world traveler. Okay. And this one I really love and I know is on a lot of kids' wish lists this Ooh. year. And this is Gabby's Dollhouse, the friend cat ship. Okay. And what I love most, I'm going to come right That's around like a here. Cruise ship. It's a cruise ship. Oh. So you can really have imaginative play about sailing anywhere. You can literally sail anywhere around the world. I really love that there That's is a pool so cool. up top that is actually can be filled with water. And the pool actually also changes color on top. But the real party is happening below deck. And this is where there's a little disco ball that lights up. I want to go on this cruise. <laughs> Sign me That's up. a good cruise. And uh, the, Gabby's got her little cat friend in there, too. So Aww. imaginative play. Love Gabby it. Gabby and her cat friends. These are good toys. <laughs> we did not have these growing up. Leanne, thank you for the creative you. gift options. That's not all. Our audience is going to go home with a $25 gift card to Walmart. <laughs> Enjoy that. Happy shopping. Lots more City Line coming up after the break. Coming up, our experts share their most memorable gifts. Age 13, yes. the first Christmas after my parents' separation. My Ooh. dad's hosting his portion. High stakes. We just got the lowdown on the hottest toys for the holidays uh, with LA. So I want to talk to you about the most memorable gifts you've ever been given, the stuff that sticks in your mind as kids or even as a grown up. Bruce, I'm going to start with you. Age 13. Yes. The first Christmas after my parents' separation. Ooh. My dad's hosting his portion. High stakes. High stakes. <laughs> he presents me with the gift. This is the big gift. It's a power drill, which... <laughs> I mean, to maybe someone, that's a great Me. gift. Oh, I am a... Oh, yeah! Oh, oh, I would be into that. Yeah. I'm like... I was a closeted 13-year-old kid. The right gift to give me 
two tickets to Dream Girls. <laughs> On Broadway. <laughs> like, it's like there's no question. That's exactly what I should receive. That's what and I open up this power drill and I'm like, have you met me? I have been your child for 13 years. In what world is this a good present? So I tease him to this day, but I will say, I use that power drill. Okay. All right. Yeah. It, and it was a memorable gift. So memorable so and so memorable. much love and thought and care from my dad. Just misplaced. So misplaced. At the time. Yeah. All right, Dom, when you think back, do you have a gift that just stands out in your mind? Absolutely. So I was in grade six, I was 11 years old, and I loved Barbies. I absolutely Me loved too. Barbies. But my mother thought that they were a waste of money. And she'd always get me educational toys right. that would be lumped into my Christmas gifts because I'm like a December baby. And I remember I was getting ready for school, um, 11 years old, getting ready to go to sixth grade. And I go into the kitchen, and she had a place setting. And on my plate, she had a long rectangular box wrapped in silver paper. And it was beautiful. And I'm all excited. And uh, oh my God, I'm still getting emotional from it. <laughs> I unwrapped Aww. it, and it was Crystal Barbie. Aww. And I was so thrilled. And I remember my mother, my mother was in the, um, in the corner of the kitchen like, do you oh. like it? And I was like, oh my God, to this day, I still have that Barbie. And oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. See, even your parents can surprise you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and also, Dominic Baker is with us today as well as Chef Paul Lillikis. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Um, LA, is there wow. a gift that sticks in your Talk mind? Talk about parents surprising you. Okay. Yes. So I was uh, six year old who a week before Christmas decided that all she wanted in this world was a Cabbage Patch doll. Oh, I remember that time. Right? And one yes. week before Christmas, there were no Cabbage Patch dolls to be found in the 80s. Mm -mm. So my mom ended up having a conversation about this dilemma with someone at work because my parents would have moved mountains to do anything for me, only yes. child. And it turns out that someone at her office knew someone who knew someone <gasps> who had a hot hookup. <gasps> on Cabbage Patch dolls. Okay. So I think it was like Christmas Eve or the day before. Mm. My mom meets in my mind in some dark alley, but I'm sure that's not how it went down. <laughs> <laughs> to get Trunks this open. <laughs> Cabbage Patch doll. And on Christmas morning, I've, I was presented with this. <laughs> <laughs> That is, that? it's, what is that, exactly, what is that? <laughs> she is not a Cabbage Patch doll. She is barely a doll hanging on by her pantyhose, which is what she's Look made of. Oh my God. Right. Uh, with her little tuft of hair. Yes, it's a vibe. Um, but I have to tell you, number one, of all of the gifts that I've received over the years, I always got what I asked for because maybe I was a little spoiled. But this is the only one that I remember and love dearly. I ended up getting a cabbage patch after I did. I ended up getting a real cabbage patch. I don't remember what she looked like. I don't remember her name. This one's name is Karen, and I know that because it's written on a butt. That's how she came. It would, I'd have to censor it if I showed you. It is in Sharpie. <laughs> With the date of 1988, but of all the gifts I've ever gotten, this is the one that stays in a box and comes out and sits on my piano at Christmas and brings me so much joy. So much joy. Me and Karen. Oh, you okay. and Karen. My little, my little candy hose baby. That is awesome. Yes. I was not expecting that. Okay. Oh, Paul. Wow. Oh, Paul, this is, good. is there a gift, a memorable gift for you? Yes, and all roads paved with good intentions, <laughs> yeah. right? Right. So I knew that I was finally in with my now husband's mother-in-law when mm -hmm. she invited me to open stockings on Christmas morning with them, which they oh, do beautiful. as tradition, like little gifts for adult children. Got and it. so I'm there, it's the first time, I'm a little nervous, you know, and I reach in, and I guess I have to preface this by saying, this was such an earnest gift, yeah. I know it. She had asked Alex, my husband, boyfriend at the time, what I like to do, I guess he said he likes baths. So yeah. I'm pulling this thing out, and it's a bath bomb, it's like from Dollarama, but it <laughs> yeah. says it's labeled fairy bath bomb. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, <laughs> fairy. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. And for a minute, I'm like, is this a gay joke? But no, no, she's like, she's like, do you like it? I, I thought it was cute, and Alex told me you like bass, so I'm like, yes, I love I it, love and it. I'm gonna use it. And I put it in the tub, <laughs> like, later, obviously everyone's got it. Right. I put it in the tub, I didn't realize until I got into the tub, it was full of glitter. <laughs> 
filled the water with glitter. Glitter everywhere. I get it. I'm covered in glitter. So I'm like washing everything down. And she's like, how was it? That's so, oh, good. so good. It was Thank so you. good. Next year, oh, 20 bucks. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> These stories, oh unbelievable. God. Thank you so much for sharing them. Oh my gosh, let's go to break. More coming up. Wow. 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 This is horrifying. Coming up, when it comes to salt substitutes, there are some surprises. Ooh, you know, when you got roasted vegetables coming out of the oven, it's good though. Sizzling, it is good. City Lines Wellness Wednesdays is brought to you in partnership with Jameson Vitamins. For everyday immune support, Jameson is here for your health. So many of us are looking to cut back on our salt intake, so we've got some tips to flavor your food without using salt. Chef Paul Lilikis is with us in the kitchen. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Well, I love that we're going to be talking about this because when we talk about flavor, it's not just about salt. There's a lot of ways to do that. So why yeah. is skipping the salt maybe beneficial for our cooking? So it's just, I think, good to understand that seasoning doesn't just mean added salt. Yeah. It, it, there are many different layers to seasoning, and I've brought a few. It, that's well-balanced cooking because yeah. flavor comes with all sorts of different accents to it. And so I've kind of broken it down here, ways that you can up the flavor, up the umami, up the acidity, with and, and maybe reduce the salt at right. the same time. Yes, because a lot of folks are concerned about that and they have that as a goal. Yep. So let's get into your first tip. Uh, you sort of mentioned it, add acidity. Exactly. So there are simple ways to add acidity. Yep. Almost all foods can benefit from a little bit of acidity for balance. So one of the simplest ways, use all kinds, there are all kinds of interesting vinegars out there Ooh. on the market right now. Okay. You got pomegranate vinegar, you've got fig balsamic, white balsamic, really good quality balsamic, champagne vinegar. When, here, oh, that sounds good. I'll let you try this. This is a pomegranate vinegar. So okay. It's made with pomegranate juice. And you could use it in salad dressing or, Ooh. you know, when you got roasted vegetables coming out of the oven. It's good though. Sizzling, it is good. Yeah. And it's light, it's fruity. A little drizzle on there, Very just nice. to deglaze the pan, it adds something. Here, I'll, I'll give take that back that. to you. I'll drink that later. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> What if you're not doing uh, if you're not doing vinegars? What else do we add for you could acidity? Citrus, classically, okay. little yep. squeeze of lemon juice, lime juice, orange juice. It just brightens up dishes and it makes them more well-rounded. Adds a little bit of brightness. Huge flavor there for sure. Yeah. Next up, you say we need to add umami. Umami. What is yeah. umami? So umami is the fifth taste. So you can taste sour, salty, bitter, sweet, sweet mm -hmm. but. It's characterized by that savoriness. So right. things that are high in glutamic acid, things like sun-dried tomatoes, hard mm. cheeses, soy sauce, things that are fermented, you know, yeah. that they hit your mouth and they kind of make your taste buds come alive. So yeah. a great thing to do, okay, I've used this as an example. Okay. I've taken cauliflower and I've just roasted it. No salt. Yep. And I've taken Parmesan <laughs> cheese, grated, and I've just baked it till it becomes a crisp and then Delicious. I've, I've made it into kind of like a powder that just goes on top And here. A little taster for you. So you made it, so you baked it. Yep. And then you you just crushed it? That's it. It crushes just like that. Nice. And then you can sprinkle that on top, and it not only adds a little bit of saltiness, mm. but it adds umami. It adds mm -hmm. that savory quality. It's delicious. No one's, no one's ever going to tell you hold the cheese. Never, never. Right? It's, it's, like, a, it's like a cauliflower gratin, but yes. it's literally there are three ingredients here. That's beautiful. A beautiful yeah. way to bump up your veggies as well. Yeah. Um, okay, let's talk a little bit about spices. Yes. Because um, when I think of seasoning, I don't think of salt. I think of all this, this, the seasoning spices we right. use uh, on our food. So let's talk about what they can add. Okay, so <clears throat> specifically here, I'm talking about spices that add heat. So yeah. up the spice, down the salt a little. So I've used just a simple fried fingerling potato. Okay. Very lightly salted. Okay. So you still want a little bit of salt on yeah. something like that. But I've dialed back the salt on this and added lots of freshly cracked black pepper. So if you'd like to try this, it's just, it just, you don't, you realize by trying something like this, you don't need as much salt. What you really need is to layer on things that add a little bit of heat and complexity. So this is the lightly salted one. Yep. And this one I've cracked some fresh black pepper onto and 
there's just a lot more going on. I mean, it's, no, it's sound, a lot more it going sounds on. simple, salt and pepper. But, yeah. you know, people forget. You can dial back the salt, or you can use cayenne. It's having a moment right like now. Bad idea. Great for your, uh, great for digestion. Yeah. Fresh chilies, or really whatever you like. For sure. Uh, instead of like grabbing the salt shaker and, and going ham on everything you've yeah. got, think about other ways to do it. Exactly. I love using peppers and using black pepper for sure is a, is a great way to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about pickled items. Okay. Uh, they have they pack a good punch. Yes. Right. Yeah. So, also always adding acidity. Now let's not kid ourselves. Pickles have salt. Everyone knows yeah. that. Whether yeah. it's pickled onions or pickled beans or pickled peppers. But how about instead of adding any salt, you're just slicing up some of those items and mixing them into whether it's a salad, whether it's a stew. I made these pickled onions at home. They're just red onions, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, and water. And they have this beautiful color. Oh, that's and, amazing. Yeah, and they add that, they add brightness from the acidity. Yes. They add a little sweetness. Mm -hmm. And I don't add any extra salt when I add those in. You and don't need it. Exactly. Depending on how you cut them up and how you incorporate them, you can determine how much you get in every bite. Oh, I love that. And also, like, that's major flavor. Yeah. Which is what you're looking for. You're not really looking for salt when exactly. you're adding salt. You're no. looking for flavor, right? It's not boring food. That's, that's what you're right. looking for. That's right. That's right. Okay, can we talk about soy sauce? Yeah. Which we know is... A major culprit. Very high in sodium. Yep. Yeah. So, what I've done in my house, I just always opt for sodium reduced soy sauce. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. About 30 less sodium. Less sodium. Yeah, you, you can really see there. can't tell. And one of my favorite ways to use it is just to, to broil broccoli. Yep. I just toss it in a little bit of soy sauce and oil, and then I put it under the broiler until it's got nice color on it. Another very cooking tip, just char your vegetables. You know, I don't know about you, but I grew up eating a lot of gray Boiled. broccoli. Yeah, microwave to mm -hmm, death. Mm -hmm. So by charring it, a little bit of soy, oh, that's a, good. a little bit of sriracha, a little bit of sesame on top, and that's it. A simple side dish, lots of flavor. The sriracha is doing it for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. I put Paul, it on everything. Incredible tips. Thank you for that. We're gonna head to break. We'll be right back. I'm gonna have some more. <laughs> it's very good. Coming up, I channel my inner spokesperson while talking radiant skin. I just want to pretend I'm in a commercial. You know when you see like the little drip come out and it's like, oh, it's perfect. Look at it plumping. <laughs>glowing skin is always in. So we followed skin expert Dominique Baker to get the lowdown on a new facial. Let's take a look. Hey Tracy, I'm at Hotel X here in Toronto, about to head into the renowned Guerlain Spa. It's a luxurious destination for all things beauty and wellness. I cannot wait to see what they have in store for us. Okay, Dominique. I am feeling great. I can't wait. You excited? To do this. Absolutely. I'm Absolutely. excited for giving you a facial. <laughs> you are booked in with the Royal Honey Renew and Repair treatment today, which is an amazing treatment for anti aging, nourishment, brightening. Is that what you are looking for? Absolutely, always. So my areas of concern are um, lightening up hyperpigmentation from breakouts. Uh, during the winter, my skin, especially my cheeks, will get very dry. And at my age, I am concerned about sagging and firmness. So this is the most repetitive mask, the Cataplasma mask from Abbey Royale. It does feel a little bit cool as I apply it. We are specifically known for offering very exclusive Guerlain treatments ranging from facials to body treatments that are specifically trained by the Guerlain protocols from France. Okay, the next portion will focus on your breathing as I take you through to our, our aromatics journey. This is a great place for self-care because we really take pride in making sure that we offer just such a nurturing environment for our guests. Any worries that they might have, we want them to leave it at the door and let us take care of you. Let us pamper you from head to toe. I know this feels quite rich, but it's very nourishing. It's not greasy at all. It feels amazing. Yeah. Wow, that was fantastic. I feel relaxed and refreshed and rejuvenated. That was a perfect experience. I will tell you more about it once we get back to the studio. 
Oh, that looked good. Dominic Baker <laughs> joins me now. Thank you. Love that. I got a question for this audience. How many of our audience folks get facials? Do you get facials out there in the audience? Yeah? Okay. I am not big on facials. I have, I think I've maybe had one in my whole life. They're so relaxing and good for your I skin. I saw that and I heard as you came out the big sigh, the <sighs> Like, and it looked like her hands, like the whole thing looked beautiful. So you are a fan of facials? I absolutely am. I get a facial at least once a month. Oh, look at you. But I review a lot of spas, so I can get up to four facials a month. There's nothing wrong with that. And exactly. it explains why everything is working here. So I love <laughs> yeah. that experience that you had at the Guerlain Spa at Hotel X Toronto. What was it like? It was absolutely luxe and yes. relaxing. I floated out of there. Yes, we saw that. Okay, so you've got tips for us for how we can all get that Dom glow. We all <laughs> want that radiant skin at home this season when it's starting to get a little bit dry. So let's talk about some of the elements that are gonna add to that. Excellent, so these are the products that they use during my facial at the Guerlain Spa. So mm -hmm. all of these products are um, honey-based and honey is great for the skin. It contains amino acids and fructose which plump and restore the skin's moisture barrier. Beautiful. It's lovely. Okay, so I see a lot of these have like a couple of ingredients that you mix up and put together, but basically right here, you've got like what? You've got a serum, you've got a lotion, you've got eye cream? Right, so these are uh, three serums and two creams. Okay. Yeah. So this Beautiful. is the Youth Watery Oil Serum that will brighten your skin, plump your skin, even out your skin tone. Yeah. This is the Double R Renew and Repair Serum for your face. It's a double formula. You just pump some into your fingertips, warm it up, and apply in an outward motion. Nice. Uh, this is the eye serum version of that. And just put a little on your ring fin finger. It's a double formulation as well. Okay. Mix it up and pat gently, no tugging, be gentle. No tugging. <laughs> Not those eyes, they're sensitive. And, and then these two? Yeah, this is the day cream and the night cream. Um, this is their honey treatment, and they plump up your skin. They are great for reducing the look of fine lines, pores, and with consistent use, they will make your skin look more plump and even. Beautiful. Okay, so that is a gorgeous thing that you can actually take home from the spa if you're interested. But let's talk a little bit about some... Um, budget items that you might be able to get to also add to your skincare regimen. Absolutely, we also have a giveaway for these. Oh my gosh, how did I forget? <laughs> how did I forget? Okay, this is the news everyone. Guerlain wants to help a lucky viewer achieve radiant skin. So they're gonna give away a gift box with Abbe Royale products valued at over $500. Oh my gosh, Dom, how did I bury the lead? So we are gonna draw for that after the show and I wish you luck because this is like a treasure trove of gorgeous radiant skin right here, yes. Good luck, good luck. None of you tried to bribe me, but you would have been winning this if you did. Okay, let's move on and talk a little bit about some other products that All can right. help. So here are some budget-friendly products for you guys to get your best skin. Starting off, we have CeraVe's Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. This is great. It will not strip your skin, and it's amazing at removing makeup. Yeah. We have the Revital uh, L'Oreal Revitalift 1.5% pure hyaluronic, so hyaluronic say, acid. Right? Oh my goodness! But it's a beautiful formula and never leaves your skin tacky or feeling sticky. And it draws moisture to your skin to help repair the skin's moisture barrier. It is lovely. It really plumps up your skin with regular use as well. I just want to pretend I'm in a commercial. You know when you see like the little drip come out and it's like, oh, it's perfect. Look at it plumping. Yeah. It's so cool. It's okay. So you have the next one that you have right there. I remember I was like Dom Baker influenced. I went and Excellent. bought it after I saw you with it. So really good vitamin C there. Yes, everyone should have a vitamin C serum in their skincare routine. Yeah. But I like to call this a double whammy. So this is a vitamin C and peptide cream and it's a great hydrator. Vitamin C evens out your skin tone, brightens up your skin. If you have hyperpigmentation, this is a great one at evening out your texture as well. Beautiful. Yes. And next up? And for your the ultra sensitive skin people out there, we've got La Roche Posay's Tolerian Dermalergo Cream. Okay. So if you have ultra sensitive skin, if you have redness, burning, itching, dryness, this is great. It will not irritate your skin whatsoever. It's one of my favorite moisturizers. I use it 
every single day. It's lovely. Lovely, and it doesn't hurt at all. It's gonna be really no. good if you've got, It's you the know, mildest and beautiful. super hydrating. Good. And here we have the retinols. Retinols are like the king of my skincare routine. Yes. So we have um, L'Oreal's Revitalift Triple Power LZR Overnight Mask. This will leave your skin fabulous. You'll wake up with great skin. It's a pro retinol as well. So okay. I recommend it to people who are just starting out with retinol. It will not irritate your skin. You can use it nightly. Nice. We have Biotherm's Blue Pro Retinol uh, Night Serum. This is a favorite of mine. If you're new, maybe use that twice a week and work up to nightly use. Okay. And, um, Olay's Regenerous Retinol 24. This is one of my favorite retinol creams. It's thick and rich, but doesn't feel heavy. Yeah. And with consistent use, your face will look great. It's great at reducing fine lines and wrinkles. I love your suggestions because I've seen all of these at my grocery store. There you go. They're so, so that, easy to get. Yes, when it's very easy and I'm just going down the aisle, grab the pasta, grab the uh, serum. Yeah. Grab the <laughs> Revitalift. There I you love go. that. There you go. And you've got one at the very end there. Yes. Or so these are some eye care favorites. This mm -hmm. is Pixie's Dreamy Eye Gel Mask. They're Hydro Gel Mask. They're made with jasmine, vitamin A, so they're super uh, calming and moisturizing. And there you go. Oh, they come in a really nice package. You see these all the time now on social media because the makeup artists put them on their your eyes while they maybe do your hair and then take them off and exactly. do your makeup. And it's that's looks exactly very pampering. Honestly, just leave it on for 10 minutes and then remove and pat on. Lovely. And we have Burt's Bees Sensitive Solutions. Mm. This is the gentle eye cream. It contains rice and milk, so it's super oh, soothing yes. and will um, really brighten up dark under eyes. So good and so natural. Exactly. Dominique, thank you so much for that. You're very welcome. For a roundup of the skincare we just showed you, we actually have a QR code on the screen right now. So you probably know how to use it by now. You gotta grab your phone if it's sitting on the table, because if you're like me, you're on your phone while you're watching TV. <laughs> Put it up there and uh, put it in your photos. Grab that QR code and you can shop all of these products. We've got more City Line coming up after the break, everyone. Stay with us. of time on the show, but we've been talking about really beautiful gifts, memorable gifts, and we got a good one from Mary in our audience. So you got the gift that many people would pray and beg for. What did the gift that you get? I received the gift of life. What, 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 did, what did someone give you? They gave me a double lung transplant, in the, or they gave me the lungs for a double lung transplant. A double lung transplant. Yes. You know, it was really important for us to talk to you because I think we need to remind people sometimes that there are good news stories out there in the world. Yes. Like, what an incredible experience. Have you ever been able to connect with the folks that, the person that donated? Yes, actually, we have the daughter of my donor found me. How is your life now? Amazing. How many years has it been? Nine years. Nine years. Can we give it up for Mary? The gift of life. And is there any kind of a message that you would send out to our viewers based on your experience with this? Please become a donor. Yeah, write those down. cards, right? Mm -hmm. And put For them sure. in your wallet. Yes. Beautiful. Mary, we're happy you're still with thank us. You. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay. LA, I don't know. Does that beat the Cabbage Patch doll? <laughs> <laughs> Mary, I'm going to give you the Cabbage Patch doll. It's a beautiful story. <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And you know, Part of what we do on this show is, yes, we want to talk about the toys and the gifts and the presents, but we also want to talk about the fact that the holidays are supposed to be about human connection. Yep. That's everything we do on this show is about human connection. So I'm so happy we could talk about toys, but then talk about life. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. Amazing, amazing stories today on the show and content on the show. Yes, I'm going to try and budget. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us, everyone at home as well, and our audience in-house. We love you. See you tomorrow. Have a good day.